Destiny is the very definition of a blockbuster. With a rumoured combined marketing and production budget of $500 million, this is a game that cannot afford to fail. And looking at the early sales figures, it's obvious that Activision have achieved their goal. But Hyperside has the team up between Activision and Bungie actually produced a game worth playing. Well, it's obvious that Destiny wants to be epic, and in many ways it is, but in others it's just another bland shooter with a pretty average story. The game itself is a shared world shooter, where you can freely explore different parts of the universe alongside other players. The story follows you as a guardian who are the protectors of the last city on Earth, and you wield the light power of the Traveller, a powerful being that has helped keep Earth's last city safe from outside threats. When you get into the game, more and more planets open up, each containing various missions, and you can opt to tackle these solo or as part of a fire team with up to two additional players. And throughout your journey, you are aided by a ghost, voiced by Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage, who guides you through missions and can summon a motorcycle-like sparrow for quick navigation or return you to your ship. As well as the main story, you can take part in The Crucible, the game's competitive multiplayer component, you form teams and battle other human opponents in a variety of matches. The more missions you take part in, the more experience you earn to bolster your class, powers and augment your abilities. And once you reach level 20, Destiny opens up much more opportunities. And as soon as you boot up the game, there are overwhelming similarities to Halo. From the way Guardians glide through the air after a jump, to the selection of enemies, and the management of shields and health. But the big issue with the game is the story and mission structure. These planets are open for exploration, yet every mission is completely separate. For example, if you want to focus on Mars for a while, you select a mission, fly down to the planet, perform the task, and then travel back up to the ship for your next endeavor. So the ability to stay immersed in the world is lost somewhat when you're spending a lot of time traveling back and forth on your ship. If you could just choose a planet, fly there, stay there as long as you like to complete strikes, story missions, and patrol missions without having to return to your ship, it seems like this would make each planet appear much more lively. And because of this, the story becomes rather irrelevant and not really something that you pay much attention to as you're flipping between random missions. It's a real shame as Bungie have proved that they have great storytelling ability with the Halo series, so to have a story that gets lost within the game itself is a real shame. Without a doubt, Destiny has some pretty big shortcomings, but the overall package just about lives up to what both Activision and Bungie promised. It's by no means one of the best first-person shooters or online games out there, but by combining addictive first-person shooter action with elements of MMO, it all starts to make sense. And once the game grabs a hold of you and you start playing with friends and pick up new ones in the game, it's near impossible to let go.